Here's a Paces Races from the late 30s and into the 40s. I'll bet seven nickels, one nickel on each horse, and start a race. I have an odds wheel here that spins and gives me different amount of coin payouts and a uh, Grandmaster jackpot here, it's like a fortune. And I had number four win. Number four is paying eight to one. So to get my payout, I open this little door right here and there's eight nickels. That's the grand jackpot if you get uh, the right combination of 30 to one payout and the right uh, lucky fortune on the wheel. Here's a little different angle for you. I'll coin it up and start a race. The uh, lucky fortune wheel here will spin. I'll get new odds. You'll notice number four flag will drop down. He was the winner from last time. There he goes. The race is on. Here comes my new odds and my fortune. And number three won that time. Once the game is started, this electric motor will turn. It'll turn a chain and it pumps on these four bellows which are causing vacuum in this chamber. So the whole thing is vacuum operated and all this is is your main vacuum pump. There's four of them in there. On this side you have a little paper reel just like a player piano has in it but this has the code for the horses. Each row is for a different horse and depending on which of the little holes go by that determines which horse is going to move ahead one position. So that player piano roll will be turning while the game is going and this is as random as it can be because when it gets to the very end of the roll it will reverse and go backwards so it plays the whole code backwards. Plus if horses number two or four when then the wheel the roll will also reverse so every time two or four wins it reverses itself and tries to randomize the pattern of those holes the mechanism for turning the player piano roll is right here these two wheels and the transmission that reverses is right here if i flip it this way then that's the roll going in the other direction like that and then that's going back in the forward direction what causes it to change directions are these two bellows right here. One gets sucked in and pulls on that rod, or the other gets sucked in, pulls on the rod the other direction. When coins are deposited here, one through seven, and then this bar is moved forward, the coins are allowed to drop down in these seven positions, and then there's a little finger in there that when it senses a coin in any of the positions, it will start the electric motor running. And that will continue until the game's over. This large bellows here pulls in and detects which position has a coin in. You can see that position number six doesn't have a coin, but number seven does have a coin. And when I push this forward, you can see it deflects number seven and that opens this little pouch right here. So that's how we can tell that we've bet on number seven and nobody else. If number seven wins, then this will detect that, that we did bet on number seven and it'll pay off. Over here, this is part of the jackpot. When this bellows pulls in, it's allowed to turn. No one lets go, it'll stop. There's a lot of different symbols here, but right here there's a little plate and when that plate lines up with this finger the winner is at the top 
If the winner's at the top, when this pulls in, that plate will cause this bellows to actuate, and that's part of the jackpot mechanism. If that gets pulled in, and if your horse happens to be a 30 to 1 winner, the combination of the two will pay out the big jackpot. This jackpot has two sections to it. The lower section, or lower half, is the visible jackpot that you can see, and that's what you're playing for. Around the back side, this is the glass that you can see the lower jackpot, the lower section in, and then above, from here on up, this is a separate section with a trap door, and this is your reserve jackpot. So the way this works is that when you get a winning combination, the bellows gets air sucked out of it and it will raise this lever. And when this lever raises up, it will pay the first jackpot. It'll dump into the coin tray. Then as you reset the jackpot with this lever and that lower trap door closes, it will open the upper trap door so that the reserve can fall down into position. This way you have the player see that there's always a jackpot there that they're trying to play for. So I'll hold the coin tray in position and I'll give a little bit of suction here with my mouth on the triggering mechanism and I get the jackpot. And you'll notice that the reserve jackpot, these nickels here, are waiting to fall into the lower section once the mechanism resets here. You'll watch these nickels fall down in. And then there's one more mechanism which is still in the machine which comes down, pushes on this, and the next time you play a game and it closes this trap door and now it's ready to accept nickels again. So as you play the game and nickels fall in here, you'll fill up this reserve and then the additional nickels past that will go down here into your coin bag and this is what the house gets to keep. The way that looks from the front is you get the jackpot, they dump out, and then when the mechanism resets on the next play, fill back up the jackpot. The payout for the horses is worked by this series of coin slides and also these six bellows back here. There's six different combinations of paying, either two coins or four coins, eight coins, uh, all the way up to 30 coins. So each one of these coin slides has a different thickness and the coins come down from this stack and they fill up these slides and depending on how many of these slides actually get let go by the bellows and fall backwards to shear off the stack of coins determines how many you get paid out. So we'll start a cycle. You can see this was the last payout here. I had 12 coins come out. So there's that many knives or coin slides that let go. When I start the game, these will reset, allowing the coin stack to go in and fill up all the slides again. And then when we get a winner, one of these six bellows will collapse and pull the levers away to let the next series of slides go and dispense the coins for that particular winner. Here's an example of a large payout, all 30 coins.